Today, Daniel Pantaleo lost his job, but five years ago, Eric Garner lost his life. And even though it is appropriate and in our judgment deserving what the commissioner has decided and announced today, let us not forget that Eric Garner lost his life five years ago in an illegal process that both the district attorney in Staten Island and the judge uh, ruling that there was evidence that she recommended that the actions of the police was in fact the contributing factor to the death of Eric Garner. Let us be real clear that though I agree with the decision of the commissioner to follow the recommendation of Judge Rose Marie Maldonado, that in the process, let us not convict Eric Garner of things that did not end up proven in any court of law. To say that Eric Garner was doing things that has not been established is to desecrate the memory of a man who was the victim here. Let us also remember there were other officers involved that ought to also be dealt with. There was the arrest uh, report saying he had 10,000 cigarettes when he did not. What is going to happen to that officer? There is the allegation that he was selling. Well, there are witnesses that said he was breaking up a fight. So we cannot look at the record of Pantello and not also say that none of the allegations against Eric Garner by the same police that were involved in his chokehold death may have alleged but was never established in a court of law. So as this family continues to grieve and mourn on the death of Eric Garner and have lost two family members, Erica Garner and now Ben, who uh, we funeralized just Friday, who was a stepfather, and we believe that the stress and pain contributed to their early deaths. So though this may be good for the city, that the city enforced its policies, this is not some moment of pleasure or joy for the family that has lost so much and could have expected that the city would have treated Eric Garner or any other citizen with the due process of law and following of police policies. To not have terminated Pantaleo would have said the guidelines mean nothing, the administrative judge means nothing, the process means nothing. It was clear in the only proceedings that happened that Eric Gardner was a victim of a policeman that broke policy and in fact contributed to his death. And all else about Eric Gardner is speculation and reckless.